vitamin A deficiency is the topic. And vitamin A uh, goes by a few other names. Sometimes it's referred to as retinol, and sometimes it's referred to as retinoic acid. And it's a fat-soluble vitamin. And oftentimes you will see a situation where fat is needed to absorb the vitamin properly. It's responsible and needed for a photoreceptor pigment in your retina. So it's crucial to have this vitamin for that photoreceptor pigment in the retina to be properly uh, active. In addition, vitamin A is required to maintain epithelial tissue. And in particular, we're referring to hair follicles, mucous membranes, and of course, skin. Now, we get vitamin A from our diet, vegetables, uh, fruits. So essentially, it's a deficiency that's related very closely to availability of food. So the cause most commonly worldwide in developing countries, third world countries, is inadequate intake. Sometimes also fat malabsorption is the cause because you need fat to absorb the vitamin. Now absorption problems have uh, a long list of diseases that are associated. For example, celiac disease, cystic fibrosis, CF, um, any kind of fat deprivation uh, state because fat is needed to absorb vitamin A because vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin. Alcoholism can also interfere with uh, absorption and liver diseases as well. So just keep those in mind on clinical vignettes. They'll talk about a situation where a patient may have one of these uh, absorption problems and that's why they're developing the deficiency. In terms of symptoms the most famous or common one that they talk about is this night blindness because vitamin A is needed for that uh, photoreceptor pigment in the retina. Without it, it's very difficult to see uh, during uh, uh, any type of state where there's less light. Another uh, common symptom or finding is xerophthalmia. This essentially is dry eyes uh, due to the failure of tear production. And then in advanced uh, cases of vitamin A deficiency, you have a situation of keratomalacia. And what this is, is that the cornea can actually become hazy and there can be erosions that develop on the surface and that can be detected on an eye exam. Another thing that's a bit rare but can happen is alopecia where the hair starts falling out. So how do you diagnose this? A lot of it is really just clinical based on the history and the symptoms but uh, an eye exam can definitely uh, show the keratomalacia and you can there is a lab test called a retinal level and that can be measured and of course it will be low. In terms of treatment, really it's a combination of just replacement with vitamin A, in particular vitamin A palmitate, which is given 4,500 international units orally every day. And then of course you encourage the patient to eat food that has high levels of vitamin A such as leafy green vegetables, fruits such as oranges and carrots. So now let's take a look at a few vignettes, see what this looks like. 63-year-old man comes to the office because of problem seeing. He says that his wife is making him get some help because he got into a minor car accident last night and it was his fault because he had difficulty seeing. His vision is fine during the day, but is basically blind as a bat when it is dark. He admits to an occasional bottle of vodka. He has dry skin and multiple diffuse areas of hyperkeratosis. His condition would most likely have been prevented by supplementation with. Well, he's got the night blindness, which is pretty characteristic. And he also 
kind of alludes to vodka, which makes me think that he might have a problem with alcohol, and that's actually causing him to uh, have an absorption problem uh, in terms of why he has vitamin A deficiency. So the answer to this, of course, is choice B, vitamin A. And then finally, 40-year-old, formerly, formerly obese woman presents to the physician. She's very proud of having lost 80 pounds during the previous two years, but now notice that her hair is falling out. On questioning, she reports to have followed a strict fat-free diet. Her alopecia is probably related to a deficiency, which are the following. Well, remember vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin, and in order to absorb it properly, you need some fat. So if you have a state of fat deprivation, which it sounds like she does because she followed a strict fat feed diet for two years, the chances are that any vitamin A that she's eating or obtaining from food is not being absorbed. And that's why she's developed this alopecia. So that's what this question is getting at. So the answer to this is, of course, choice A, vitamin A.